Nitya from University Science Malaysia. There are always many questions surrounding preprints and this presentation addresses the question, do journals or journal publishers allow publications of preprints? Well, different publishers or journals have different policies on the publication of preprints. Here, I have examples of some journal publishers who do not have any restrictions on which preprint servers that you choose to publish your manuscript or versions of your manuscripts, which means you can publish your manuscript as a preprint prior to submitting the manuscript to a journal and you also have the option to resubmit the revised manuscript as a preprint after the peer review process. Not to worry about the DOI of your preprint, the initial preprint and the revised one will have the same DOI. Some publishers have restrictions on which preprint service you can deposit your manuscript. Here I have some examples. Also be careful, some publishers will not accept certain studies if you have already deposited your manuscript as a preprint. Here are some publishers who welcome publication of preprints but do not encourage submitting a peer-reviewed manuscript as a revised preprint. So, once you have revised your manuscript according to reviewer's commands and suggestions, you cannot deposit the revised version as a revised manuscript in the same preprint server or another server. It is always crucial to check journal or publisher policies on preprint submissions before depositing one. I also recommend that anyone following this recording to check preprint policies of all the examples I have showed earlier as there may be new updates on their preprint policies. Now, coming to the do's and don'ts of submitting your manuscript to a preprint server. Once you have identified a journal or a publisher whom that you want to send your manuscript to, the first do will be to check the preprint policies or the journal or the publisher. You can go directly to the publisher's webpage or journal webpage for information or you can access databases like Trespos or Sherpa Romeo to do so. Now, if the policies do not support preprint publications, you can either go ahead with manuscript submission with the journal of your choice, but I would recommend that you consider finding another journal to send your manuscript, a journal which is more preprint friendly. Well, if the publisher or journal policies welcome preprint publications, then go ahead and submit your manuscript in one of the preprint servers of your choice. Once you have received the preprint digital object identifier or DOI, continue with submission of your manuscript to the journal of your choice. During the submission process, it is advisable to mention about the preprint with its DOI in the cover letter to the editor. Another option is to mention about the preprint and the DOI in the journal submission portal. Some journals allow submission of revised manuscript to the same preprint server after the peer review process, but some don't. Please check the journal policies once again if you are not sure. After the acceptance of your manuscript, you can either link the preprint to the published article manually, or some preprint servers will do this for you automatically. Now, what do you do if the journal returns and says that your submitted manuscript has substantial overlap with another document, for example, your own preprint. In other words, they say that you have self-plagiarized. Not to worry. Quickly double check the journal or publisher policies on preprints. Once you have done this, email the journal or the editor that the prior submission was a preprint and referring to their policies of accepting preprints. After a few days, you will get a response from the editor or journal asking you to resubmit. If this does not solve the problem, contact author services and generate an appeal or complaint. In the next two slides, I have listed preprint policies of a few major journal publishers. Paste the link provided for each publisher on your browser and check out more information on their policies. You can use Trespos or Sherpa Romeo if you want to know about journal or publisher policies on preprints. The first step is to go to the site. 
The link is provided on top of the slide. Once you are in Trespos, type the name of the publisher, for example, American Association for Cancer Research, and click Enter. You will find Brief Publication Policies of AACR. Scroll down and you will find a section on Preprint Policy. Click on the source link and it will take you to AACR policies on preprint and other publication policies. You will find more detailed information on their publication policies on this page. You can find similar information using Sherpa Romeo. For example, type Cancer Research and click Search. Cancer Research is a name of a journal under the AACR Publisher portfolio. Once you click search, you will get to the publication information page. Scroll down and you will find information on preprints. For more information, click on editorial policies. Well, that is all that I've got for you. Hopefully, this presentation has provided you some insights on journal or publisher policies on preprints. Thank you.